Who boy, a lot of fun things coming out of Sakane. This is one of them. The Endorphin Speed 3 is the latest in a line of some of my favorite road shoes from Saucony that combines soft bounce and snappy plated road running goodness. The Speed 3 falls just below the extremely snappy Endorphin Pro and attempts to bridge that gap between hyper-focused race-ready super shoe and everyday trainer. The Endorphin Speed 3 keeps a lot of what made the Endorphin Speed 2 so popular. A super soft and bouncy Power Run PB midsole stack keeps the shoes comfortable while featuring a new design on that S-curve nylon plate. The thin and light mesh upper is plenty breathable and keeps the shoes locked down when you need to pick up the pace. In the end, the Endorphin Speed 3 is exactly what I was hoping for in an update without changing too much but that comes at a hefty price tag amongst so much road running competition. We have a lot to talk about. Let's dive in. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3. I've been really excited to talk about this shoe. Been running a ton of road miles in it. Uh, I've really liked this shoe in the past. Can't wait to talk about this one. Before we do, GRGR is just around the corner. That is the Ginger Runner Global Run. We are now in our seventh year. It is a week long of virtual fun running challenges for everybody, no matter where you are. If you're looking for that little extra kick in the ass for your training this fall, consider joining GRGR. We've got a great community of people who participate every single year. We would love to have you join us. Now, before we dive into the review of the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3, I have to point out that these shoes were provided for review by Running Warehouse. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about this shoe. I'm not financially compensated in any way for anything that I say about this product. All opinions are my own. You're the first to see it. No one has to approve it. Give yourself a pat on the back and let's dive in. Talking about the things I like and dislike about the Endorphin Speed 3, we start as always with the things that I like. This one's easy. The midsole. Power Run PB midsole has been wonderful. I love my experience in it. It's super bouncy. It's very comfortable. It's very soft. Uh, there's plenty underfoot here to give you that protection, but also that propulsion. And I think the midsole is fantastic. Saucony, keep using it. Keep having fun with it because I am. Nylon plate. So that is what helps the Speed 3 separate itself from something like this, the Pro 3, which I'll also be reviewing later this week. It's a nylon plate versus a carbon plate. And I like this in the first version. I like its implementation here in the third version. Basically, it gives you a bit of springiness, a bit of propulsion without being so stiff that your foot is constantly fighting the dynamics of the plate itself. So having a nylon plate gives you just enough of that spring without being too overwhelming. And it really does work well with a lot of different foot strikes, foot shapes, foot movement. Um, it's just a more adaptable plate experience. I like it. The upper. They sort of simplified the upper. They have some overlay materials, but the mesh is really nice. It has a bit of give, some stretch. It's holding up really well. The overall look of the upper, the, the way the upper fits around my midfoot. Um, they're doing a lot of good things here with the updates. They're very subtle in some places, uh, but overall the package with the upper connected to that power run PB with that plate just make for a super fun, comfortable road running shoe. I like it a lot. That being said, it's not all cozy evenings wrapped in blankets watching scary movies while sipping on your cider doused in whiskey. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Endorphin Speed 3. Let's get to those now. Propulsion. So I did say I like the nylon plate and I do. What you do not get with that nylon plate is that extra level of propulsion that you do end up getting with something like a carbon plate that the Endorphin Pro 3 has. For those looking for a very specific plated experience underfoot, the nylon plate is going to get you maybe half of the way there. That carbon fiber plate in the Pro 3 is so much more snappy and stiff that uh, you're just not gonna get that with the nylon plate. So if you're looking at setting PRs, the nylon plate might get you there, but the carbon plate might get you there faster. Uh, I like the nylon plate, but I just wanna point out it is far more flexible than something like a carbon plate. The tongue, uh, I did find that the tongue was a little bit thin. It also doesn't have any sort of hole for the laces to go through. So it wants to move around a little bit. I do like that they have gusseted the tongue in the Endorphin Speed 3 and the Pro 3. It's a real slight gusset. So the tongue does move around a little bit and it also doesn't come up quite as high as I'd like because I do end up double lacing here towards the top just to kind of lock in that ankle. Uh, and that tongue is just a little too short to come up enough to protect the top of my foot. So you do have the potential to get lace spike. And finally, price. Uh, it got more expensive, so it's a $170 shoe. 
that is not where I would like this shoe to be price point wise. I would look at this shoe as sort of the all around trainer ready to go race if you need to or pick up the pace versus the Endorphin Pro 3, which I would definitely consider sort of a race ready shoe. So the price point at $170 is about $30 higher than what I would expect from something like this with the with the midsole and with a nylon plate. So I wish it was a little bit less and I would expect the Endorphin Pro to be around that $170 price point, but that is not the case. So unfortunately, it's an expensive shoe, but that's it for dislikes. So let's get to the breakdown where I get more specific about five different criteria, build quality, comfort, fit, price, and looks. Let's talk about build quality. It's holding up great. The Power Run PV midsole, I do find wants to flatten out a little prematurely. This has still plenty of bounce left. I have just around 100 miles in the shoe. It's holding it very well. I think the materials here are good. I'm not getting any seam splitting, any issues with the welding coming apart. It's holding up better than I expected. Comfort, that is where this shoe shines. I think this is a super comfortable, fast uh, shoe. That Power Run PB is fantastic. The nylon plate isn't too intrusive. So the comfort of this shoe is great. Fit, I fit just fine in the shoe. Size 11 for me, true to size. And getting a lockdown through the midfoot is great. The shoe does fit a little narrow, especially for the platform. Has a little bit higher stack with that Power Run PB. Uh, not really an issue for me. The upper is flexible and should accommodate a lot of different foot shapes. Uh, just have to point that out. Price, I already listed this as a dislike. It's $170. I think that's a little too high of a price point. Saucony, I wish this would be just a little bit cheaper, but it's not. And finally, looks. I really like the looks. I think this solid blue colorway with just a little flash of yellow is super fun, very unique. I think coloring the midsole was a really smart idea and uh, I like the way this thing looks. Yeah, it's fun and fast. Bringing us ultimately to our conclusion. The Endorphin Speed 3 is a fantastic all around daily trainer or race ready up tempo shoe. It's really capable in all scenarios. It can take pretty much anything that you throw at it. So if you're out there trying to set a new PR in a marathon distance, if you're out there just trying to run a fast 10K, or if you're training long miles every single day, uh, this shoe can kind of handle anything that I've been throwing at it. And that's a great thing. It sucks that the shoe went up in price and sits at around $170. I think that is too high of a price to pay. What you can justify though for that price is a shoe that does want to do it all. So it gives you that plated experience without being too intrusive. It gives you that cushioned experience without being a Hoka. It gives you that fit and finish that you need to last you many, many miles to come. So, uh, I don't know, it's a fun shoe. It's just, you know, pricey. Are you willing to part with 170 bucks for the Endorphin Speed 3? Bringing us to our final criteria, is the Endorphin Speed 3 a buy, try, or a why I hesitantly call this a buy. I hate that it went up in price. I love that it looks good, that it feels good, that it makes me want to run fast, and that it's super comfortable and can adapt to a lot of different foot shapes. So I'm giving it the buy. What do you think? Uh, ultimately, that always brings me to the last question of, have you run in this shoe? Is it something that you're excited by? Have you run in any of the Endorphin series and which do you prefer? Uh, so this is the one that I'm gonna say buy on. I am also, again, reviewing the Endorphin Pro 3. Find out what I think about this, which is sort of the big race buddy to this one. Carbon plate, super stiff, very breathable has sparkles. Lots to chat about. That review is dropping this week. I'll also include a link in the description of this video. If you want to get a pair of the Endorphin Speed for yourself, I have links in the description. They'll take you over to Running Warehouse. Consider using them. They help the channel, but they cost you nothing. Uh, they are affiliate links that will take you over there. We have a great partnership with Running Warehouse. And if you are a GR Crew member, you get an additional 10% off pretty much everything that Running Warehouse sells. So consider joining the GR Crew if you have not already. That's it, everyone. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. You'll be updated anytime I upload a new video, go live, have a new film, anything like that. And uh, ultimately that's it. Register for GRGR, give yourself a high five and get out there and run. Train hard, race harder, and party the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week for more fun. Bye bye <laughs>